Hey guys, I'm from PlayStation Now here, and I'm going to be doing a review of Capcom's Dead Rising 2. So unfortunately, Dead Rising 1 was an Xbox exclusive, so us PS3 owners or PS2 owners at the time really didn't have the chance to play Dead Rising 1. So the storyline for Dead Rising 2 was extremely confusing to me. I mean, the story, not confusing, let me rephrase that, the story was confusing, just what hap like why things are happening the way they did was confusing if that makes sense. Um, I didn't understand everything about the whole zombie invasion, like why were there zombies in the first place, because I never really played Den Rising 1, because um, it was an Xbox exclusive. So that's one con to this game, you could buy it to, you know, hash and slash zombies, that's pretty much what this game is about. But you're gonna go into it not knowing too much about the story. Um, the gameplay is pretty good. Um, if you're a fan of Grand Theft Auto and you're a fan of um, Resident Evil, it's kind of a mixture of two. Like, um, you, it's a free roam game, but you do have missions. But like in Grand Theft Auto, you don't really follow the missions. You just run over hookers and cars and crash helicopters into buildings. So um, that's pretty much what the game is about. Um, I can follow the story if I want to, or I can just take um, a chainsaw and attach it to you know canoe paddle and just cut up some zombies um, it is pretty fun um, and it's kind of a time waster I wouldn't really see this game being something you would you know wake up in the morning just to play through it's not as addictive as other games but it's a good game just to waste some time like if you're waiting for something or if you just want to play your you know ha slash up some zombies and there you go um, the graphics are pretty decent um, they're not top quality they're about as good as Resident Evil, um, because, you know, Capcom does make it, but, um, even though the graphics are pretty good. Now, the sound quality is, um, also good as well. Um, the sound effects relate to what object you're using. Um, it's pretty, you know, pretty accurate, depicting on what, um, to what object you're using, to what sound it makes. You know, it's not going to be swinging a baseball bat and you're going to be hearing, like, I don't know, throwing a baseball at a rock wall. It's not that kind of muted sound effect. You get the full-on metal baseball bat sound effect that you would expect. So that was kind of good. Um, they matched up the sound effects, which is um, a really good job done by them. Now, one con I have about, like, one con I found out about this game is, I'm not sure if it was the same case in Dead Rising 1, but the save points just really piss me off. There are no checkpoints in this game. You have to save by going into a bathroom. Now this could be really cumbersome when you're in a huge mall filled with zombies and the bathroom is nowhere nearby um, and you die, you have to start at the very last part where you saved at. So let's say you saved at one spot, then you got really far ahead, then you died. It doesn't save. You go back to your last save point unless you hit like a major turning point in the game like where it automatically saves. It automatically saves at some points, but there's no checkpoints whatsoever. And that's the con about this game. It just sucks. The saving mechanism is completely horrible. I got really pissed off because um, I found myself at one part of the map. Then I made my way over to the other side of the map. And then I got a lot of zombies. I made a couple um, customizable weapons. And I was having really fun. And then I died. I lost all the money I made. I lost all the weapons I made and I got put back to the spot where I was beforehand. It was just really annoying. Now this game can get a little boring at times. You know, you cut a few zombies up, that's it. Um, the storyline isn't really worth following. Um, it's not really that special. Your daughter gets bitten by a zombie or whatever and you have to go around the whole time finding her Zombrex, which is the zombie medication, for 70 two hours I think until you have to wait till the military ref to save you so this whole game takes place under the course of three days but it's just not that fun um so yeah that storyline I wouldn't really just follow it I mean you have to follow it some parts but for the meantime put on a pair of footy pajamas and ride that tricycle over zombies because that's what you're gonna be doing for most of the game so overall I give this game a six out of ten um, like I said, the graphics were good, the sound quality was good, the save points pissed me off, and the, and the overall gameplay isn't really that fun. Um, sure, you're cutting up thousands upon thousands of zombies in a short amount of time, blood, gore, all that good stuff. You get to change your clothing whenever you want, like, you know, you're shopping in a mall. 
you can use pretty much any part of the mall you want as a weapon, but still, it's not that addicting. Um, and I think that if you really want to play this game, I would rent it or borrow it from a friend. I paid $60 for this game, and I'm kind of regretting the fact. Um, I probably am going to sell this, because um, I did not enjoy this game at all. So, that is pretty much it. Um, I am Eric. Oh, and by the way, it wasn't even scary. You think with a zombie game, you'd at least have a few scares here and there. It's more comical than it is scary, and it's really not that good of a zombie game. I'm sorry. Um, so, Capcom, stick to Resident Evil. Dead Rising, um, I don't know how the first game was, but the second game, I'm not a fan of. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm Eric from PlayStation Now, and I'll catch you later.